Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, happy Mother's Day weekend. Happy Mother's Day to those of you who are celebrating Mother's Day today. I hope you guys have some great plans for, for today. It is a beautiful day. Um, I'm going to check in on the one on your mind, right? What's going on with them? How are they feeling about you and what they want to say? This is current energy right now, how they feel about you really right now, okay? Um, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your love and support. Um, I'm going to be putting out minimal readings today because I've got some big plans myself today. As soon as this video is over, I'm slipping into a swimming suit and I'm hitting the pool. That's right. Mama's got some big plans today. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, but we'll get back on track with the Zodiac sign readings tomorrow, okay? And um, yeah, thank you everyone. I love you all. Thank you for being so awesome to me. Okay, so Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective, the one on the collective's mind? What's going on with that person? Okay, yeah, the one that walked away from you? Yeah, now they want to communicate, Okay, they want to take some kind of action, um, but I feel like this person, this they could have some secrets that, uh, like, they're, they have to be careful of how they communicate because there's things that they've done during this time of separation that they don't want you to know about. I'm also feeling like they don't know how you feel about them. You could be a Cancer. This person could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. They could be extremely handsome, good-looking, charismatic. They could be very active. They could like sports. Um, they could do a lot of sports. Something about sports. Okay. I don't know. There could be some kind of game on today. I feel like this person, yeah, see, they want this new beginning. They walked away from you and they regret it, but they don't really want to... It's, it's like they don't want to tell you certain things, they want to keep some things hidden, or they don't want to tell you how regretful they really are. Like they don't want to actually say, I should have never walked away from you, I should have never treated you like crap, I did this and this and this, and I should have never done that. No, they just want to get you to talk to them so that they can kind of restart it, okay? They want this new beginning. This person, they could be watching what you're doing or could, you know, they, they could be watching what you're doing all the time. This is somebody who's literally studying you. Um, they're not only looking at whatever you're posting on the internet, but they're looking through all the comments as well, trying to figure out what you've got going on behind the scenes. I feel like this person is, um, they're jealous, they're upset because, not only because they walked away from you, but now... You're out of reach. You're out of reach for this person. You're no longer a part of their life. And they, they have no idea what's going on in your life. Okay? And this is fair. This is, uh, this is karma for them. This is them kind of going crazy. Okay? Wanting you back. Wanting to take that action. But um, not knowing how you feel anymore, not knowing how to get you to talk to them, not knowing what's going on with you, that's driving this person crazy a little bit, okay? Because they really want this new beginning to, yeah, but they don't know. It's almost like um, spirit won't let them see into your life, really. Okay, they'll let them see little glimpses that drive this person crazy and trigger them, Okay, but they don't let them see all the details. They don't let them know how you feel. I've, I kind of get the sense that spirit is like blocking any kind of information from getting to this person or they can't feel your energy anymore. Something like that. You could have recently like stopped posting things on the internet. It's got this person pretty triggered. Okay. The inability to know what you're doing is driving them crazy. Yeah, they may be asking other people about you. This is collaborating with others, trying to figure you out, trying to figure out how you feel, um, if there's anyone else around you. 
okay they may be um, looking into your business your finances but I feel like there's a lot that they are not allowed to see okay yeah they're they're feeling completely out in the cold from an empress I, and I feel like this is where they wanted you. They wanted you to feel out in the cold, but you're out here living your life and they know it. You've gone through a transformation and you're attracting beautiful things to you now, okay? Because you're high vibing now, now that you're away from this person, you're able to focus on you, grow. Um, it's got you um, feeling very confident, enthusiastic for new things, ready for a fresh start. And uh, you've grown to be every queen in the deck. And now you're keeping this person out. Spirit is keeping this person out of your business. I, I don't know. I I'm kind of getting the sense that you've either blocked them or you're not. Um, you may not be putting any information out there for them to see. Okay. They can't stop thinking about you. They're feeling very locked out right now is really the feeling that I'm getting. Like they're locked out of your life. Okay, they're trying to figure out a way to sneak back in. But um, this is somebody who's possibly come in and out of your life. Okay, like they could have been somewhat of an opportunist. Maybe they're waiting for some kind of opportunity to come in. Um, I don't know. I, they keep looking back at the couple of years that they haven't talked to you. Okay, maybe a lot's happened for you in the last two years, three years, uh, maybe up to seven years. And they just don't know. They don't know what's going on in your life. This is somebody realizing that they, when they walked out of your life, they really walked clear out of your life. You're, um, you're living a completely different life now. And they're not allowed to, to know your information. Yeah, it's driving them crazy. <laughs> you're driving them crazy, okay? <laughs> this person can't sleep at night. They're having nightmares. They keep trying to figure out um, what you're doing um, with the information that they are getting, which isn't very much. Okay, they're really stressed out. They're going through all these scenarios in their head. Like, this is you on their mind. Heavy. Swords are about thoughts. Okay, and um, the more swords you have, the more pain you have. Okay, the most you can have in the deck is ten swords, and this person's got nine. Okay, I feel like, you know what? What'll push us over this person over the edge is finding out the truth about you is finding out the details they're about to find they're about to get clarity and that's going to give them so much pain because the reality is you've bossed up you've healed from this person you're attracting new things to yourself and you're having a new beginning and you're not gonna i feel like you're not accepting this person back in your life they've lost you that's the clarity that's the one last sword that they're going to get that that um, makes them hit rock bottom basically that's that's the most pain you can have that's everything that you've done coming back on you that's what this is this person is headed for you know they keep digging they keep digging they keep trying to find your info well they're they're gonna get their clarity and that truth bomb is gonna hurt okay it is the fact that you're manifesting new things. You know, the fact that you're no longer a part of their life and, and what you have going on is none of their business. That kind of truth. What you have going on is none of their business anymore. That's going to hurt them. That's going to be like the straw that broke the camel's back kind of thing. Okay? Okay. Yeah, because you, they missed out on ultimate wish fulfillment. You could have possibly recently purchased a home. Um, you could be celebrating this. You could be celebrating all of your accomplishments because not just, 
not just you have gone through a transformation, but your whole life and your future that's coming is also transformed, okay? You're getting these blessings. And this person is going to find out that you're happy without them and you're celebrating your life without them. That's the truth. Ace of Swords, there's that last sword. And this is the information. This information, they don't want to hear. They could be hearing it from some of your friends or family. Okay, there could be two feminine energies telling this person this information because they are asking other people about you. Empress. And they're going to get the truth. The truth is you're happy without this person. And you don't want them back. And that truth is going to give them the Ten of Swords. I kid you not, you guys, I cannot make it up. Okay? Behold the Ten of Swords. With that last sword of truth. Yep. They missed out on a star. You've healed. You've healed. You're over this person. You're happy without them. You're celebrating big accomplishments in your life and having a good time. You're starting to live your life again. And you're, you're literally getting big blessings here as well with the Ten of Cups. And, and so that Ten of Swords turns into the Ten of Wands, which now this, this is burdens that this person has to carry for the rest of their life. Because they've lost you, because you're over them, and you're too happy with living without them to be giving this person another chance. Yeah, and the burden for them, the biggest burden is the fact that they love you. They know who they love, and they're going to know who they love for the rest of their days. The one that they love has gotten away, and they were the cause of that. That's what they have to live with. That's that burden, okay? Because you're standing your ground and you're not backing down and you're moving on and you're taking your cup of love elsewhere. This person just lost you and they lost the most loving queen in the, in the, in the deck, okay? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, heavy on Cancer, okay? Leo, um, you could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe Libra. This person could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe a Cancer. They could be a Libra. They could be, um, they could be a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could also be a Sagittarius. I forgot the Earth Angel was out here as well. <laughs> yep, then they're never going to be able to forget about you. Virgo energy as well. You're always going to be on their mind. They're always going to have to think back on how they treated you. They're always going to be in love with you. And these are the burdens they're going to have to carry for the rest of their days. Suffering the consequences of how they treated you okay anyway collective um you know what let's get some oracles before we go okay what else can you show me for my beautiful collective i don't want to let you go just yet yeah neither do they neither do they they don't want to let you go just yet collective i feel like you have someone new coming in right now it feels like you're still in kind of limbo. Um, you're just starting your new cycle now, okay? We all kind of are. Um, and you're in a really good place, right? You're happy, you're confident, you're feeling good, you're sure of yourself, you know? You're, you're feeling good. And you don't have any regrets for the things that you've done. You're releasing a lot of baggage here from the past. And you're getting ready to move forward, okay? You know, it kind of is giving me the whole, when I say releasing baggage, I'm seeing this as kind of like a hot air balloon, right? In order to lift up 
um, in order to start moving forward, you have to release some of the weight, like get rid of the sandbags or whatever that are in this egg, okay? Um, so I feel like that's what you're doing. You're gonna, you're releasing the burdens of this, man. You're just done. You're freeing yourself. Yeah, you're done. It's over. The death card. And I feel like as you do this, new love could come in because your future is right here. It's right here. Okay. Yep, a new love comes in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was just on the bottom of the deck. A new love comes in. One door, cause you know why I say that? When one door closes, another one opens. And this is masculine energy here with the yang. Okay? So you're about to get new love. You could be even making a house move. Okay? You could have recently purchased a new home. That could be one of your major accomplishments. What else can you show me? Uh, it's just, it's your time now. It's your time to get your blessings. It's your time to be happy. It's your time to live your life and be happy. And this person now, they're going to be stuck in the past, right? They, they're going to be, they're going to have to be stuck and they're going to have to look at how they treated you and what they lost. You know? But you, you get to concentrate on what's coming in. You know, you're, you're, you're going to opposite ends of the spectrum here. You're looking into your future and this person has to kind of now live in the past. In their conscience, their conscience is going to be screaming at them over how they treated you in the past. And everything they lost that they could have had. They're going backwards. You're going forwards. You know, and you are about to get the kind of love that you deserve. Someone who's learned their lessons of love just like you have. And who's ready to be in a committed and dedicated relationship. This is what, this is what is coming. Because you're ready for the, you're ready for love. But you, you need it from a person who knows how to love you the right way. Okay? And that's what that's what you'll have in this new cycle. It's your time. Okay? Yeah. Congratulations, collective. I love your energy too. Anyway, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates you guys. I've got to jump into my swimming suit now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's totally like my second skin, you guys, for real. I, I spent so much time in water. I am a cancer, true and true. Um, so water's my element. I've got to get to water today. So um, anyway, I, I hope this helps and resonates. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to my channel, right? Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.